Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. We're gonna talk about Century Arms. Specifically, the question that I get asked all the time at the gun shop, which is, is Century Arms uh, producing good rifles or are they producing really bad kind of crappy rifles? With the four Century Arms products that I have as far as firearms in my collection, I've had great, great, great experiences with them. They've all been extremely reliable. I've never had any issues. I've never had any parts breaking or anything like that. So the four firearms that I have in my collection that have been imported or actually manufactured by Century Arms is the C93 Sporter, which is the HK93 clone, the C39 V2, and I actually have two of the C39 V2s. So one is kind of that tactical uh, Magpul version and the other is actually my first AK that I ever got, which is still in the Walnut Furniture. And then the final, which is the newest addition into the collection, is the M92 PAP pistol, which is imported in from Century and made in uh, Yugoslavia in the Zastava plant. But I have seen Century in the past, uh, not even you know super long ago, but somewhat recently uh, put out products that are just not of the best quality. So I have seen some rivets that are a little bit rough on some Wasser 10s, some bluing salts leaking out of uh, some Catamount Fury shotguns that they've imported in. And honestly guys, I think it's very, very hit or miss with some of the older uh, Century Arms imported in AKs. There's just not really a way around saying that it's, it's hit or miss. It's kind of 50-50 that you're gonna get a really good, well-built rifle, or you're gonna get one that's kind of not. So the best thing to do when looking for an older Century Arms uh, import or AK or anything that they manufactured is just simply looking it over first preferably not purchasing it online, purchasing it in person. But the modern day stuff, guys, that they're producing, I have seen phenomenal quality. Um, even their RAS 47s, which I know are super, super hit or miss if you go look at reviews online, all the ones that we've gotten into the shop, the actual quality of the uh, machine work and the manufacturing done by Century is 100%. The C93s, are no longer being um, produced by Century is my understanding. I haven't seen them on their website and I haven't seen uh, any of them come into our shop anytime soon, but that is probably my favorite 5.56 rifle that I have to actually shoot. It's super, super light recoiling. Um, and again, I've had no issues with it. It's a little bit tough uh, to field strip the bolt, but other than that, there's no problems. So um, I absolutely love that rifle. I think it's a great affordable rifle to get into kind of that HK clone type rifle. I think if you're going to go with their American made AKs, the C39 V2 is obviously the way to go. You guys know I have two of those and I think they're extremely robust and well-built rifles. And you can see reviews of that all over the internet of them doing really, really well. And you'll see them do well on my channel here. But the modern AKs that Sentry actually imports in right now, like the Zastava M92 PAP, are phenomenal, guys. I, I've yet to see one that's come in with um, bluing salts all over it, with weird dents in places there shouldn't be dents, um, you know, just crappy machine work or rivets that are all busted up. All of ours that at least have come into our shop from our distributor and imported in from Century have been phenomenal. Even the newer Wasser 10s, I've had no issues with. I haven't had any um, actual trigger time behind any of their Canic series of pistols that they obviously are importing in right now. I think they're great pistols. I know there was some type of a recall that I heard about, but I don't know the actual specifics of that recall at this time. But other than that, um, the, the pistols themselves, the people that I know that own them, that shoot them, uh, the ones that we actually sell to people and what customer feedback has been is it's been awesome on the pistols as well. So I think they're really importing in the right things now. And I think Century tried really, really hard to redeem themselves after being known as kind of that crappy, uh, you know, low end, manufacturer. I'm gonna wrap this kind of short little video up now, guys. I just wanted to give, I guess, a little bit more of a shout out to Century Arms because I think they're very underlooked. And I think in this market today, especially for AKs, there's just not a lot out there. Yeah, you have your, you know, your really cool stuff that Atlantic Firearms produces, and you have your arsenals and Vepers still a little bit out there for your kind of go to war AKs. But if you're just looking to get into the market, to get into a beginner, range 
range AK or even one that could potentially be your home defense uh, rifle or something that you take to classes with you, I think Century is one of the few companies out there that offer an economical price point of you know anywhere from seven to nine hundred dollars, and that's kind of their high end versus other AKs that could potentially be twelve and thirteen hundred, and just really way too high for any of your everyday gun owner. Be sure to click the links down in the description below. It'll take you to my Facebook and Instagram account. On my Instagram account, I am still doing daily posts, so it'll allow you to see just a little bit more of my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.